Hey guys, it's our third day here and our bike reservations were canceled again. So here we are at Eddie's Cafe having breakfast. I got some eggs and bacon. And the nice thing about this restaurant is you have a nice view of Lake McDonald. Well, since our e-bikes were canceled due to the rain, we're here at Hungry Horse Reservoir. Just checking out the river for some fishing spots for maybe tomorrow when it's sunny. And we just entered and it's pretty green. Really nice. Too bad it's pouring. This is the Hungry Horse Dam. Super huge. Supposedly one of the bigger dams right alongside the Hoover Dam, I believe. It goes all the way that way. And blocks the Hungry Horse River. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's an eagle's nest on that tree. So we're here at the Huckleberry Patch Store. They sell um, lots of different gifts and everything Huckleberry pretty much. They've got beef jerky, buffalo jerky, elk jerky, syrups, jams, jellies, etc. They also have pies. So we bought one, but we're going to eat it later on in the cabin. We'll show you that later. But we got some Huckleberry ice cream. I uh, never had it before. Let's try it out. I don't know if they make it in-house, but it's super creamy. You can definitely tell this is um, homemade ice cream or something made in a smaller shop. And it's got a good, interesting taste. It's like I said the last time, like a blueberry, but not quite. It's an interesting berry flavor, but in a good way. It's very, very fruity. And I like how you can see the pieces of fruit in here, but like how some fruits, when you eat it in ice cream, it's got some thick skin that gets stuck in your teeth. So far, nothing like that. It's pretty tender and it kind of just melts in your mouth, but it still has that flavor. So definitely a treat. They're really generous too. This is a single scoop, but it's packed to the brim all the way down. So they're not stingy with it. Hey guys. So today for lunch, we were starving. We went to Mudman Burgers and they're supposedly well liked in the community here in Montana. They have won numerous awards for many years for the best burgers in Montana. There's a, a location in Columbia Falls, which is where we went, and we went through the drive through You can also dine in. And the other one is in Kalispell, which is a couple of towns over uh, from Columbia Falls. So we got the Mudman Burger, and my son got the Mud Boy, which is a smaller version. But basically the mud in it is uh, chili, so all the burgers come with a little bit of chili in it. It's got all the fixings, um, onions, tomato, lettuce, and bacon and cheese. You don't have to ask for anything. If you don't want anything, you just let them know and they'll omit it. But it's got everything. It's a pretty massive burger, so we'll try it. You can really taste that chili. It's a good chili. And I like the fresh big romaine leaf and the fresh tomato and onion. Everything's so good, and the bacon. Bacon's kind of on the chewy side but it's a really thick cut bacon. And the burger is really meaty. I like the way the burger is. It's, you can tell it's fresh beef. It's cooked kind of medium rare. They don't ask you how you want it cooked, but that's fine with me. But it's delicious. The bun is nice and soft too. Everything is great and I can see why it's won awards for many years. It's really good. And hopefully it's not too loud, but we have the little heater going because it's kind of chilly out. Uh, the high today is 45-ish. 
um, and it won't stop raining. Totally sucks because all our activities have been canceled, but it's okay. We're just chilling and relaxing, and that's what part of the vacation is, is just to relax. So we're enjoying this burger. Eating more of it, it's a little bit, has a kick to it, the chili, which I like. But I think if you're not expecting it, it would be a little bit spicy for some people. But this is great. I definitely go back again. This is delicious. And it's um, pretty, I mean, it's a little bit more on the high side, but I think it's still reasonable for a combo with this big hunking sandwich and fries and a drink. It's about $10. Now we'll try the fries. Just looking at it, it's a little bit of a softer, soggy fry. Yep, but they definitely look homemade. What it reminds me of is a little bit better of an In-N-Out fry. I know a lot of people don't like In-N-Out fries because they're kind of soggy. But at least you know you, they made it because it's got the potato skins on it too. I think they're good. Um, but fans who want crunchy fries, uh, you're not going to like these probably. But the seasoning's great. What makes them better than In-N-Out is the seasoning. It's got its own special kind of kind of a cross between like a jack-in-the-box curly fry seasoning and some other spices. Makes it good. Another plus in my book is their drinks. I asked for a Dr. Pepper and I was sad when she told me they were out, but she offered me another alternative was Dr. Pepper cream soda, which is also my favorite. And I didn't know they had it as a fountain drink and that's great. So that goes so good with the burger. Same thing, I know some people hate Dr. Pepper, but the new Dr. Pepper with cream soda is awesome to me. So it just goes really well with this all-American meal. So that's our lunch today, and we'll look for something else to do after this. So we didn't go to dinner because we're pretty full from that burger. For some reason, we don't eat too much here. I don't know if it's the cold weather or what, but we got some huckleberry pie from that huckleberry patch store, but we were to fill off their ice cream, so I'm going to show it off because I have never heard of Huckleberry. I've heard of um, I'll Be Your Huckleberry from the movie or Huckleberry Hound, the cartoon. I didn't think it was a real berry, but we'll take a dip into this pie. It's supposedly one of the best pies up here um, and see what it's about. So here it is. It's pretty um, filled up with filling. It's spilling out. Oh my god. That is good. It has a little bit of tartness, but not too tart. I don't like pies that are too tart. But it's very sweet too. So it balances out the sweetness. It's... I don't like blackberries or raspberries because of that nasty seed stuff on the outside. But this has the taste of blackberries and blueberries crossed together without any of those nasty seeds. Really smooth and just very jelly-like and soft. And the crust, some people have said they don't like it because it's too thick, but I think it's perfect. I really don't think it's thick at all. I think maybe the ends are thick, but it's nice and crunchy and flaky. If you ever come up here, to the Glacier or Hungry Horse area, definitely need to try some of this huckleberry pie. Definitely going to get some more before we leave this area, because after this, we're only staying for a few more days, and we're heading south to uh, Cameron, Montana, which is on the border of Idaho and Wyoming, so I'm not sure if they have much huckleberry there, but definitely delicious. Weather's nice. 
there is a huge line the last two days we just got in really easily and if you didn't pay attention and look at the updates glacier national park does require a reservation ticket for entry and that's not the national park fee so if you didn't get one online and they're all sold out mostly you're out of luck so there's a lot of people coming in holding up the line and they check to see if you have your reservation. We got lucky and got ours right on the first day they got released in May. So if you're coming here, definitely go check out their website and pay for it. It's only $2. And this is the entrance to the west side of Glacier. The line's not too bad now that they weeded out the people that didn't have tickets. So here we are at Lake McDonald on a nice sunny day and you can see the difference, how beautiful it is, the mountains in the background. And then we are just like them, we're going to do our kayak. We were lucky, right Bubba? And that's our kayak, we're going to go drag it in and hopefully do some fishing. So here we are in the middle of Lake McDonald. This is pretty fun, it's kind of hard to paddle though. We'll keep near the shore, but beautiful views. So how is it? Yep. Fun? Yep. I'm doing all the work though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we didn't catch a fish so we got to go to that other lake and go fishing. This place doesn't have much fish in it. You mean Lake Canoe? No, we're just going to fish from the shore. But it was a nice experience. And look at how crystal clear the water is. So clean. Cleaner than at home in Hawaii. And I have never seen a piece of trash or anything on the shore here or in the park. It's very pristine. So now we're heading back. We didn't get any fish. Uh, Lake McDonald's known for low fish pressure anyway, but we thought we'd try. But going back, you should give yourself some time if you do come here, because you're going against the wind and the current. So it takes longer to get back than to get out. I got moose track ice cream. You like it? Mm -hmm. What's it taste like? Chocolate? Like there? We're at Eddie's ice cream. They got moose track ice cream. And I got huckleberry again. Might as well get it while we're here. It's delicious. Nice. We're at South Lion Lake and we're fishing. It's Here we are at Trail of the Cedars. We want to do Avalanche Lake, but it's kind of late. And the sun doesn't set for a while, but we have to return our bear spray, so hopefully we make it. So that's the Avalanche Lake Trailhead. I so wanted to do it, but we really, like I said, don't have time. Bummers. And it's a little bit difficult. But we're going to do the easy one, which is Trail of the Cedars over here and it's supposed to have a nice bridge with water. snow. They're still trying to clear it. 
because the elevation of this road goes very high. If you've seen other videos, it's like very scary and you're totally on the edge. But unfortunately, we could only go as far as to the Trail of the Cedars and it's blocked off for only bikes and pedestrian traffic right now. Uh, we did, like I said, have bikes yesterday, but it was canceled due to uh, the bad weather. So it's okay. We'll come another day, another time and do it later, but not today. But this road was built in 1932 and you can only imagine how much work was put into this without the technology we have today and going through all that mountainous terrain to build this road. It's a pretty amazing thing to see. So today's dinner, our last campfire, is hamburgers and our last brat with our leftover mushrooms, garlic, and onion. This thing isn't so great though because you can't lower it and you're only going to put so much coals in there. So it's kind of way too high. We'll start our campfire later after we cook our food because this is pine so you can't cook food with that. That's not good. But yeah, slowly getting there. And then we got the beer with Aroma Craft Baca, if you're familiar. And yeah, we're just chilling. Very nice weather today. It's already almost 7 p.m., but here the sun does not set till almost 10, 9.50 or something like that. So we got plenty of daylight to enjoy our meal and make a campfire. And that's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow where we're going to travel down to Cameron, Montana, which is near West Yellowstone. And we're going to go explore that side and go into Wyoming. See you then.